More than 218 bird strikes occurred at Salt Lake City International Airport in 2015. We are a team of 11 and 12 year olds. We learned about a problem. We came up with a solution. We are the Bionic Porcupines 2.0! The Bionic Porcupines 2.0 are a first Lego League team. These teams compete in three areas. Robot design and games, core values such as teamwork and cooperation, and a project addressing a community problem. Our project, Bird Strikes at the Airport, is what we excelled in. Our project won the Global Innovation Award for the state of Utah. That was amazing! Yeah. <laughs> Cornell University did a study that shows that random motion scares, scares away birds. Our air dancer uses a lot of that. We created small battery powered air dancers to solve the problem of birds nesting under bridges. We examined several scare devices and traps to keep birds away from the airplanes before deciding on our air dancer. We consulted Bobby Boswell, the airport wildlife biologist, to test our idea. It really helped us come up with a creative and innovative idea for miniaturized air dancers to basically prevent birds nesting in certain areas where we have problems using other dispersal techniques in these areas. So what they've done is help design these smaller scale air dancers to reduce bird nesting in this. Um, the effective use is we can use them in nesting locations where birds nest and underneath eaves of houses. Um, here on the airport, we can use them where they do under bridges. We can even use them and float them in water where we have, may have standing water pool on the airport to prevent ducks from coming in and roosting in those areas. Over the course of several months, we came up with many different versions and prototypes and tried different air sock links before we came up with something that really worked. Watching you guys make revisions to the air dancer, it was really fun watching that interaction that you had and that synergy that you brought because there's a lot of different personalities in this group and uh, each of you has a different part that you kind of play in it and it's fun to watch that come together. We have um, come together since before I was a new member this year and at the start of the year you guys you three were like super close and I was for the outsider but you guys took me under your wing by the end of the year we were all like really good friends and we've really grown as a team to actually become a team. Well, we probably bonded and we are still crazy and learned how to be more crazy. I like how funny the team can be, as much as that pains me to admit it. <laughs> they have a lot of fun together. Say our team likes to have fun and work hard. Our mini air dancer was tested at Salt Lake City International Airport. It was placed where geese normally gathered. It ran for eight hours. It was the only day in two weeks that no geese gathered in this area. We've actually been really surprised to watch it kind of take its, its, its beginning and, and move to the end. I mean, starting with just meeting with the airport to coming up with this really clever air dancer that has a lot of it, um, different applications. And the way that you all have thought about each of the parts that go in it has been, um, I think, amazing. And we're seeing it, I think, take off. We've got something that could turn into a company and we got a patent out of it, I thought it was just great. We applied for a patent and we are now official U.S. inventors. Ding! Well, I'd say my favorite part was definitely working with Bobby Boswell and the airport staff. My favorite part about the project was what we've done with it. We've created a small air dancer that scares away birds, so we are saving lives. So with the air dancers at the Bionic Porcupines 2.0, I've helped it to develop are innovative. Um, they've been used before on a large scale, but nobody has ever scaled them down to the size that we have. And we can put multiple clothes together. They're tough, they're cheap. And the benefit of these is they're also mobile. Many other airports located near water with the same bird problem are interested in using the Air Dancer. Our project was featured on the Bird Strike Committee USA Facebook page. We got to get really involved and make our own solution and then we get to do a business, and so I'm just really excited about what's going to happen next. 